hello everyone in today's video i am going to create this table in the furniture template file but before i start the tutorial i ask you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and if you have any query do tell me now let's start open new furniture template file first of all i'm going to draw the base of the table for that select extrusion in the create tab then select this ellipse by default the reference plane is set to the reference level floor plan and then draw an ellipse like this once you have drawn it give it an extrusion of 2 inches after that uh, select void sweep again in the create tab select click on the sketch path and then pick this top surface of the base and select the path like this after that go to the right elevation click on edit profile and draw at the profile like this so that the edge has sort of a design and not and very stiff edge You can create any sort of profile uh, for the edges. It just needs your imagination. After that, uh, apply material to the extrusion. Always try to give parameter, a uh, material parameter, so that you can change it whenever you want. Instead of uh, selecting. Uh, the extrusions and the sweeps one by one. In the front elevation, place some reference planes like this. One reference plane needs to be inclined the, as I have placed like this and place one horizontal reference plane at a height of 8 inches from the base. just place it correctly according to the design of the table assign name to both of these uh, reference planes I'm going to name the inclined one as one and the other one as top with the help of model line place the, uh, uh, draw the elevation of the uh, stand table stand so that when you go to the reference level floor plan you would know that what would be the, uh, the radius of the ellipse so for that select the ref uh, rest plane to one after select after click after you click on extrusion and draw an ellipse like this And in the 3D, you can see that as the uh, reference plane is at an in angle, has an angle of 45 degree, the extrusion is also at an angle of 45 degrees. You can also change the uh, radius of the ellipse by adding dimension to it. Give it, give the offset to the ellipse of two inches, and then. Give an extrusion of one inches. 
again I need to uh, create a profile for the edges of this tan for the for that select void sweep up uh, but first give it a material parameter then after that select void sweep from here click on sketch path set the reference plane to this surface and then provide a path then go click on edit profile get open this viewer uh, window and create a profile for the edges like this now go to front elevation select this component which we have just drawn and simply mirror it then go to 3d and with the help of join command join both of these both these components of the stands so now our base and the stand is of the table is now complete now we need to uh, provide a table top of class for that go to reference level floor plan select extrusion set the reference plane to the top uh, reference plane and draw an ellipse like this give this uh, give this extrusion if this table top the extrusion end of 1 by 4 inches assign a material parameter of glass for this table top now select okay, a void sweep Click on sketch path and set the reference plane to this table top. Then draw the path like this. Go to right elevation, then click on edit profile and draw the profile for the table top for this glass edge like this. The table design is now complete and you can now use it in your project file. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any query, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.